Who doesn't love a great bargain? especially us crafters, because our craft supplies are so expensive. Today, I'm going to show you an estate sale, which was day three, 60% off, already reduced prices, and a lot of fun to go shopping at. Some of you have expressed some concerns about not being able to find estate sales in your area, but hang with me to the end, because I'm going to show you seven great ways to find estate sales, garage sales, and the like where you live. All righty. So the first thing that I got, I am super excited about for a couple of reasons. I got this fabulous set of brushes. They're stencil brushes. I mean, look at them. I don't think some of these were ever used. So there's one for each of seven, eight colors and she already had them marked. But I mean, seriously, there's like, nothing and these are um j brush creek bank creations i had never heard of them but uh these are still available on their website it came with this lovely little case that holds all of them it's really super it's solid wood uh it was marked at um eight dollars I paid $3.20 for it. It is available on their website for $24.95, so I'd say that that is a great bargain. All right, the next thing I have my, now you've seen one of these, I went back and got the other one. This is Picket Fence Studios, and these are stencil blending brushes with a stencil. And it's not even open. I mean, it was marked $30, which it is still available for $30. Um, actually, this is now $39.99 on Picket Fence's website. It was marked $15. I paid $6 for it. It's got all these little detail blending brushes, some big ones, and a stencil. So I actually got two of these. I got one on a previous day's uh, when I was there at that particular state set. If you live in the Oregon or Washington areas, estatesale-finder.com is a great resource. I got this Picket Fence Studio stencil. It was Wave Sun stencil, and this was originally $7 um, on Picket Fence Studio. It's now $7.18, believe it or not. They didn't have a price on it, so I got it for free. I got this Christmas Noel collage paper. It was missing the top. It was originally $2 there. I paid 80 cents for it. It is brand new, never opened. And it's the Christmas collage, so that will come in handy in the future. It is, I paid 80 cents for it. It is currently $6.99. I got this mini clipboard from Ideology. Obviously it was marked 50 cents. I paid 20 cents for this. It is $4.99. And the thing that's really cool about being able to decorate some of this is that all of the, this is all, you can take this off so you can decorate the whole thing and then reapply it. So mini clipboard, 20 cents. Okay. Water, <laughs> distress watercolor cardstock. I paid 40 cents. This is now at $6.75. But see, just by going around, this particular person was a major, major crafter. So she had a lot of stuff. Sometimes you have to dig through a lot of stuff. This time I just grabbed what I wanted. It was like free and open shopping. This is, um, let's see, this stuff. So this was the next thing. This was Ideology Layers Botanical. Now I did open this. I wanted to see what was in here, but if you're not aware of what this is, it's all floral ephemera. Totally useful for birthday, sympathy, thank you cards, ink up the sides, give it a little vintage vibe. It's There's a lot of pieces in here, a lot, a lot. I think, let's see, 83 pieces of ephemera. I guarantee you they're all here and they were never used. And even if they were, would you know? I mean, let's be honest here. There's butterflies in here. Beautiful. Get them all back in here. I have little containers that I bought at Tuesday morning ages ago for ephemera. So that will be added to my list. 
The next up was uh, worn wallpaper. Now these are considered worn wallpaper scraps. It was marked $3. I paid $1.20 for it. Right now this is $17.99. I mean this is great cardstock and ephemera. Now if you're not familiar with Tim Holtz and what he does with his wallpaper stuff. They go out and find artwork and then they license the artwork. And this is really cool. I don't think there's any way I'm going to be able to share this with you on video, but it's actually textured. The texture is in the cardstock. It feels smooth, but you can see the texture. It's really cool. And this has got 49 pieces. This was clearly never opened but you could use this for backdrops and vignettes. You can cut it and make card panels with it. It's really beautiful stuff. So there's lots of choices here. And I mean, if card making wasn't your shtick, heck, you could even use this uh, if you were into dollhouses. So you could use this as wallpaper for dollhouses. So really cool stuff there. BlueMoonEstateSales.com where you can get onto an email list for your local area. Next up was a package of Ideology Backdrops. This is volume five. It includes all of these card stocks. They're all double sided. And again, not opened. Three bucks. I paid $1.20. You can find this online for $12.90 right now. Okay, I can't put my hands on whatever I did with the distress tags, but I got a package of distress tags. I paid 80 cents um, and they are $6.99 a piece. I did use those for Christmas, so that's probably why I can't put my hands on them. This is an older Spellbinders die set, but still very valid. Um, even though it's older, it's a great one. So this is called um, Beaded Circles. And this would be great on vellum. You could emboss with this. So it is uh, marked $2. I paid 80 cents for it. You can still get it. I found it for $19.39. Pink and Main Bubblegum Dyes. So this I paid 40 cents for. I know I don't have the stamps. You can still get the stamps. Um, it is valued at $16.17 on Pink and Main and Obviously, it was $18 to start with, but um, I thought this might be good for like a snow globe for Christmas. That's why I, I bought it, even though the dyes weren't available. I mean, for 40 cents, can you go wrong? I mean, that totally looks like a snow globe or a Mickey ear, whatever you want to do with it. There we go. Okay, so I got these Lawn Fawn dyes. These are slimline stackable dyes. It is four rectangles with stitched border detail, perfectly sized for mini slimline projects. Well, 25 bucks, I paid 80 cents. Um, yeah. And cut them apart and you can just use them for rectangle dies if you don't do slimline. I don't really do slimline, but I mean, sentiments, I mean, <laughs> you could really use it for 80 cents. You can't go wrong. Okay. Tim Holtz Stencil splatter, Splatterings Layering Stencil. So this I paid 80 cents for. Uh, it's obviously brand new, not out of the packaging. And splatters are always great. These look like coffee rings. This would be good with coffee cup uh, stamps or dyes. Um, there's lots of choices for this one. Now, if you saw my previous craft hauls, you know that I had never seen these. I feel like I had my head in the stand, but this was an amazing find. This is Scrappy Boy Stamps and Dies. This one is Song as Old as Time, so obviously a Beauty and the Beast uh, thought process. Great sentiments, especially for uh, a birthday. I love this. Lighten up. It'll be okay. Make your own fairy tale, but this also included the dies that were attached. This is still available on Scrappy Boy's website. It is forty four oh eight as the as the set. I paid a dollar twenty on a dollar twenty for both packages total. Crazy. 
This is Stamps of Life. Again, something that was new to me. Um, this is a 5x7 folded die set of a truck with things that you can put. Pumpkins, flowers, gifts, Christmas. Um, you can add your own stuff to this. This would be great for a 5x7 card. Even just a little boy's truck. Put a tire on the back. I mean, that's two circle dies. Um, but super cute. I paid a dollar twenty. It is twenty nine ninety nine and still available. Lawn Fawn, life's a drink. This is build a drink die set. Cute. This would be great for summer. It's marked twenty dollars. Uh, I paid eighty cents. Now this is the Lawn Fawn build a cocktail add on. Once again, I paid twenty cents. It was $15. I did find it for $13.48 on um, the Lawn Fawn website. So, again, never used. Cartabella Ephemera. So, I am sure that she got this at Tuesday morning because I got the same ephemera pack. This says 33 pieces. I'm sure that they're all in here. It was marked 50 cents. I paid 20 cents for this. Craigslist is also a great resource for finding things in your local area with your specifications. Garage sales, estate sales, etc. Scrappy Boy. Now, you know, I just love my Disney stuff, so I couldn't pass this stuff up. This is called Practically Perfect. I paid $2.40 for the stamp and the die set together. This is $45.88 current but totally Mary Poppins. Super califragilistic, practically perfect in every way. Um, she did use this one because I can see a little ink on it, but big fat furry deal, right? I mean, $2.40. Close to my heart. Again, not something I was familiar with, but this is the Thin Cuts window. It, it is, um, you can coordinate it with uh, window foam from there and make a shaker card out of this. It gives you an example, but you don't need that add-on. You could certainly do this yourself. And it comes on a metallic, uh, I mean, on a magnetic sheet. Obviously marked $4. It is, I paid $1.60. It is 1995. Christmas baubles. Now this is clearly from a magazine. I know she had a lot of magazine subscriptions. I paid 80 cents. There's no way to value this because it's from a magazine and generally those magazines run 25 bucks and this would have come free with it. Dare to be artsy. Again, another company I wasn't aware of. I paid 40 cents for this cute honeycomb die. Look at these. These, these would be really useful. You could do all kinds of things with that. 40 cents y'all. This is a $30 slimline die. You don't have to use it at slimline die, but they do give you some examples. Another Scrappy Boy uh, die set. This one is called Halloween Pinup Girl. What's up, witches? This is definitely Halloween. Have a wicked birthday. That you could do anytime. I want to do bad things with you because you look frank and fine. These are super cute. Again, the die sets. This is $44.98 online. I paid $1.60 for both pieces. But this really opens up your eyes to things that are available that you didn't know. So Picket Fence, I thought this would be super cute. I have an idea for this. It is marked originally $18. I found it for $10. I paid $0.20 cents for this, and it's super cute. Super cute. Lots of great sentiments. And there's a Tim Holtz uh, bug die cut set that I thought would be really cute with this. GarageSaleFinder.com. Just enter your zip code to find garage sales near you. Dilution Spray. Now this came as a set. I've already opened up the set. It was two really large uh, two ounce containers. I paid two dollars for them. This is available $11.98. This is pomegranate seed ink spray and slate gray ink spray and to kind of show you the difference this is the typical size that I get in the three pack it's double so this is uh, these are ink sprays though so that was a great find 
Tim Holtz brush stroke flower number two. Yep, she actually had die cut with these and has pieces in here. I don't know if I'll keep those. I probably won't. Um, I paid $2 for this die set. It is available $17.97 right now. She obviously paid $13 for it. This is brush stroke number one. Uh, again, I paid $2 for this die set. This one was never opened or used. It is available, I believe, on Amazon for $22.47. So two bucks is a great deal. I love me some woodware. Woodware Craft Collections. This is called Birthday Cake Gnome. I paid 80 cents for this. It is available, I believe, on scrapbook.com for $7.63. Sympathetic Unicorn. Um, and it's funny because this was actually misspelled on the uh, on the packaging. I paid 20 cents for this. It is not available. I found it on eBay and in the UK for $10.99, but uh, 20 cents. This card is meant to turn your frown upside down. This could be a a be, don't worry, be, ha be happy card, but she probably spent about $15 for it. Okay, now this was cool. Now this is exactly how I bought it. It was marked $6. I paid $2.40 for everything. So this is a Scrappy Boys stamp and die set and ephemera pack. This is Future Family, obviously the Jetsons. Gotta love it. It got the dies and two packs of ephemera. So this whole set is available currently for $59.86. I paid $2.40 for the whole thing. Okay, another Scrappy Boys set. Now this one was also marked $6. This one has two stamp sets in it. This is called um, Burlesque Beauties. And this has got some great sentiments. And two full stamp sets. These are huge stamp sets, y'all. This is a, oops, six by nine stamp set. And there were two of them in here, along with both outline dies for both packages, a stencil for the stage for your burlesque beauties, and some ephemera. I paid $2.40 for the lot. It is $58.97 currently on scrappyboys.com. Antique stores or antique malls are a great place for vendors to sell any used craft supplies that they have. We have lots of Stampin' Up! here in the villages. And this one's super cute. Okay, so I got another dilution spray. Here's the packaging. They were marked five. I paid $2. They're $11.98 for the two. This one is Vibrant Turquoise and Crushed Grape ink sprays. And they're the big packages also. This one I'm sad I don't have the, um, the dies for, but this is Witches and Wizards and obviously a Wizard of Oz theme. Uh, some cute good witch or bad wish it's all about the shoes girls you know that that's the case cake and presents and ice cream oh my great birthday sentiments here so but the dies are still available if i really want them i can get them uh this stamp set i paid a dollar or yes stamp set i paid a dollar 24 it is currently 22.99 i love all of those stamps um gonna have to really get myself an account for them okay so Sizzix brush strokes minis there's 14 dies in here it was seven dollars at the sale I paid two dollars and eighty cents for it it is twenty two forty seven this one is called bloom it is a colorized and she did all these writings um, 
but I paid a dollar sixty for this. It was clearly opened, but everything is here and accountable. So twenty two forty seven on. I think that was Amazon. I got two sets of vignette trays. If you're not familiar with the vignette trays, um, you can do three dimensional vignettes out of them. And I was really wanting to do some for Christmas. And well, I still have stuff from Joanne's Black Friday that I haven't gotten. So uh, those gifts did, will have to wait until next year. But I paid $2.40 for both of these. So $1.20 each. They are $31.98. So fantastic bargain for these guys. Okay, more Scrappy Boys. This is Steampunk, Steampunk Fairy. Um, and again, if I want to get the die sets, they are available. Uh, I, crafters, you will love this. When you don't feel like sparkling, glitter is always an option. Eat, drink, and be fairy. You're an inspiration. Sprinkle fairy dust wherever you go. These are super cute and not so hard to really cut out, honestly. They won't be difficult. Uh, but scrappytoys.com for the win for that one. I paid $1.20. It was $22.99. Great deal. Echo Park, you're the magic. And this is obviously Harry Potter esque. Um, this one I paid 80 cents for, it's $12.99. I got, this was in the package, but I've already used it, a brand new Wink of Stella marker. I paid $2 for it, it's $8.90. Many local newspapers offer an online resource for both estate sales and garage sales. This is Paper Nest Dolls. Again, not a company I was familiar with. They are made here in the United States. They are rubber stamps. Evil Fairy, uh, Maleficent, my favorite villain. So I had to take her home, never used. So I gotta put those into play. I paid 80 cents for it. It's available for $8.99. This is a Stampendous um, Cling stamp, I paid $1.20. It is no longer available. Obviously, she got it at Hobby Lobby, um, but I did find it on eBay for $9.99, so not too much difference, but it's uh, called Funny Farm, and I love cows, so it was a win for me. Sassy Club. Guys, I didn't know about this one. Sassy Club has got a lot of fandom stamps, so if you like any... If you're a fan of any type of um, genre like that, go check them out. This is called Christmas Magic, obviously Mickey and Minnie. This one is sold out right now. I paid 80 cents for it. When it's back in stock, it's $15.99. So I know why it's, it's out of stock. I mean, my goodness. If you're a Disney fan, this is fantastic with Chip and Dale and Mickey and Minnie. Okay. This is the shed embossing folder, clearly something from a magazine, so I couldn't get a value on it. I paid 80 cents for it, but I really thought that if I did that, I could have my little, my little animals sticking out from it. So that's why I got it. All right, Sassy, this one is Poison Mug. This is also from Sassy Club, I paid 80 cents. It too was sold out for Halloween. This, you can't hardly see it, but it says, I want to be where the coffee is. And Harry Potter, Yoda, Snow White, cute stuff. And then this cute poison apple mug with the tops that you can add the foam. Super cute. This was a great buy. Oh my God. This is a Stampers Anonymous hipster Tim Holtz collection. I paid a buck 20 for it. It's $24.95. They're all rubber stamps. Uh, cling, but very current. I mean, let's face it. I get the, the Doug from Emu. I get that commercial in my head, so I thought that was cute. But the cat is super cute, too. So, all rubber stamps. 
Okay, Creek Bake Sentiments. Now this obviously came from the same place that this did. If you've gotten Creek Bank product, let me know what you think. I haven't tried them yet. This is a small stamp set. I paid 40 cents for it. It's $7.99 currently. Some nice general sentiments. Okay, Paper Nest Dolls. I paid 80 cents. This is Rebel Baby, obviously Yoda. Um, it's available for $8.99. Never used. Sassy Club. Okay. Uh, Sass Before Christmas. Obviously, The Nightmare Before Christmas. Uh, Sally and Jack. Deadly Nightshade. This is Halloween. Let's get spooky. This was also sold out. Um, $15.99. But I paid $0.80. Cents. Okay, so this is a no brand and no name brand. I, I would assume she got this on Amazon. I paid 40 cents for it, but I love cows and I couldn't let it stay there. So 40 cents it was. Um, Disney's Hat and Bows. He didn't charge me for this. So this was definitely a freebie. I got Donald's hat, Goofy's hat, uh, the Sorcerer's hat, Minnie's bow. Here's ears. I'm not sure what this went to, but I don't care because I can find a use for it. Okay, free is good. I got some blingage. Uh, this is Jolene Pearls, 20 cents. It's $8.79 currently. But if you buy white pearls and take any color alcohol marker, you can color it and change the pearls to whatever color you want. Okay, Carol and Pony. Okay, so this one was actually, it's kind of funny. This is another probably Amazon something or other. It's actually marked as a pony, little pony but it's not it's a cow um, i paid 40 cents i have no idea where it came from but my love of cows is good and i got four metal die builders i paid 20 cents a no 60 cents what did i pay for this he only charged me a dollar 60 for all four of these and um this is the word wicked so it's a word die with its shadow so i thought that that was uh certainly good so he paid, i paid 40 cents for each of these um this came in a box of eight, uh, eight stamps and seven dies for $135. I, somebody must have bought the other stuff. Obviously, the Evil Queen, this was a mirror shake, shaker add-on, uh, bunny ears, and a hat, Mad Hatter's hat. So I only paid 40 cents for each of those. So. And my favorite is last, estatesales.net or estatesales.org. Both will bring you to the same website where you can sign up for a free email to be sent to you daily with any estate sales, auctions, um, online sales near you. Whew, that was a lot of stuff. This was a fantastic craft haul estate sale. I spent today... $163.50 with a retail value of $942. Now, if you didn't see day one and day two, I will link them at the end of the video. And all three days, I spent a total of $280.43 $280 with a retail value of $2,116.95. Almost all of it is current. All of it's brand new. I highly encourage you to go out and look for estate sales, garage sales, auctions, and even antique stores for your future crafty supply needs. Until next time, I'll see you real soon.